everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Paige and I'm super happy that you're here today I'm going to be installing a preformed pond that my sister the ropes of renovation whose link I'll leave down below gave to me for my birthday it's March 2022 and even though my birthday's not until April she went ahead and had it shipped to me and I'm super super stoked about it and I can't wait to get out there and install it. The reason why I wanted a, a pond in the yard is because it attracts wildlife. I'm going to be putting fish inside of it and I'll be able to use that water to feed my plants, my potted plants. Now this is a St. Croix 275 gallon uh, pond and it is fish safe and I'm just gonna go to my local pet store and just grab those 36 cent little orange fish and they will grow to fit their environment they'll get pretty big so i'm excited about that i have so many water plants i've always wanted to grow so i'm gonna be able to put those in there and i don't know just stuff like this just gets me tickled now before we get into this video i would really like to give a friend of mine named barry and his wife a shout out i was hoping you guys would go and check out his channel I will leave the link right here in this card and down below in the description. His editing skills are amazing. His content is also amazing. His wife is starting up her own YouTube channel and that is linked onto his channel. So you may want to go check him out. He also flips houses. He buys some of the most rundown houses that you've ever seen and fixes them up and sells them and I mean he is he got a hold of a hoarder house and I tell you what that was a mess I didn't think he'd ever get done with that house but he did a beautiful job and the content is amazing and like I said his editing is amazing and I appreciate it very very much if you go and check out his channel again it's called Empty Hammock and his name is Barry and his wife's name is Molly so if you would be so kind as to go out and check out their channel Due to all the traffic noise, I'm going to film this part inside. What I did was, is I took the pond, I didn't film it, but I took the pond and I put it in this location, came inside to make sure that that's where I wanted it, and then scored around the pond so I know where to dig. And then I'll get the pond back out and sit it in there and adjust it accordingly. So I'm just going to play some music while you guys watch me dig a hole. Okay, sorry, I thought that the camera was on. What I'm doing now is I'm going around the edges and I'm putting all the dirt around the edge and then I'm poking it down in the hole around the pond. That way, you know, it's good and packed in and then I'm gonna fill it with water so nobody steals it overnight.
Okay, it's the next day. I'm sorry about the lighting, but um, I had to put water in the pond last night so no one would steal it. Um, people are stealing everything around here. Um, someone stole a 200 pound, no, I think it was more like 300. I can't remember how much that thing weighed. It was a big cast iron cauldron that uh, my neighbor's great grandmother used to boil their clothes in. And someone just stole it right out of the front yard at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm right now, I had to siphon the water out of the pond and now I'm gonna crawl in there because it can't siphon anymore. I'm gonna crawl in there and just get it out by hand and with a mop. So I'm gonna have to take my shoes off and everything. So um, I can't really talk to you outside because uh, like I said, I live on a very busy road and it just it's just not possible. Then I gotta dig it out. But another thing is, is that when I put that water inside of the pond, it uh, made an imprint underneath the pond to show me exactly where everything needs to be and then I can level it. So, um, let me get out here and get started. Wow, that wind is something out there. My hair is a mess. If you're wondering where I keep my tools and whatever happened with the apartment, absolutely nothing has happened with the apartment. Um, it's dead in the water right now. Uh, this is the, the, well, the living room area. You know, behind me is where I took down all the sheetrock and you can't see in there because there's no electricity. And this is like the living room area and I just keep my tools nailed up to the wall here and I'm going to need this and that so I'm definitely going to need these two shovels I'm going to need that rake and the hoe and everything came to a screeching halt because you know certain things are on the rise and it's just not feasible right now so I think I'll just let gravity take care of this building and save me some work um, so let me get these shovels let me get these shovels out to the uh, pond area and then I'll come back for the rake in the hose so I'll be right back Right, I've got sandy soil on the top and then I've got a little bit I got some clay but this is called a hard pan so you have all this nice layered dirt so when you dig a hole in the area that I live in it's very very soft uh, sandy soil and then you hit a layer of hard pan which is this stuff and it's clay so when it rains here and the ground gets wet this earth is, turns into what they call gumbo and uh, you can't drive on it you can't do anything I mean it is a mess
height is still a little too high on that side but I'm still going to dig it out a little bit further away from the edges that way I can really backfill it in good. I'm going to try to get this level so we'll see. It is low on this end a little bit and it's pretty much level. It may need to come up in the front just a hair. See, after I've tamped it down, I'm going to go back around it, fill it in, tamp it down, go back and fill it in, so on and so forth. That is a sedum that I just planted there and some creeping jenny, which is also um, a marsh plant or bog plant. I got the taller variety of mondo grass to put around the pond and then I put the shorter version in between my flagstone. I'll just call it flagstone. I'm not really sure what the name of it is. Well, it's been about six months. And this is what the pond looks like now. I've got some beautiful plants. I've got an ice cream banana. I've got a milkweed, which the monarch butterflies have already eaten and they're off making their cocoons. So I need to cut that down so that they actually migrate and not stay here and eat some more. I've got a branch in the pond in case an animal or falls in, it can climb out. My lily pads are huge and in bloom. My water hyacinths, I've actually thinned those out yesterday and gave some away. And I've got a spitter. Let me zoom in for you. I got a sweet potato vine trying to grow in. The mondo grass is doing really well. It's filling out. It's gonna take time for that though. Over here I have a teacup and some papyrus. The sweet potato vine is growing into the pond. I'll have to pull that out. And I've got a hibiscus. This is probably one of the better projects that I've had. I have no regrets. I enjoy the fish and I've got frogs. I've got dragonflies. I have hummingbirds. I have birds that land on the can drink from the spitter. Um, it's just been great. Honeybees come and land on the lily pads and drink water. It's just really, really beneficial to have a pond. It's been a while since it's rained and the water levels are low, but it's going to rain for a week straight starting this afternoon, so I'm not going to fill the water back up. This has been an awesome project, and I think everybody should have a pond in their yard. I forgot to film my intro and my exit, so here's my exit. I just wanted to say thank you so very much to Ropes of Renovation for this pond. I have absolutely no regrets of wanting it, installing it, and I'm just overwhelmed at the amount of wildlife it has attracted. 
Uh, neighborhood cats come to drink out of it. Uh, my chickens drink out of it. Lizards, bees, birds, and probably things I haven't even seen yet. But if you can, find a way to make a pond, whether it's with just a liner or a kiddie pool or just a small container, as long as it's okay for fish, if, so if you want fish, and put some plants in it. And you, in one of those solar powered uh, floating fountains that spits water everywhere, that keeps the water circulating. And I'm telling you, you just can't go wrong with having a water source in your yard. Wildlife will love you for it. So I want to say thank you for being here. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you found this video to be informative or entertaining, please hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And again, thank you for being here and I'll see you in the next.